So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Diaries of Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 10th of July 2017. So, what have I done this week on the channel? Well, there's been six videos. Firstly, we've had, if I can find the page, uh, we had two videos for Ascended Kings, which is this arena combat game with no player elimination. We had a preview and also a short preview, so if you want to just quickly have a look at it, there's that. Uh, on top of that, we had Pulsar 2849, the new game coming from Czech Games Edition later this year, and that was a demo recorded at the UK Games Expo. Apparently, some things have already changed about the game, but the core concept that it is this dice allocation, the way the dice allocations working is the same and that it is still a space game so you can get quite a good idea from watching that but just bear in mind it's not the finished retail product then we also had reviews for exit the game well i say reviews i did all three of the exit the game boxes in one review so you can take a look at that just find out my thoughts on the series as a whole and which one i preferred and as well as that I also did a video comparing it to Unlock. So if you want to see just how does it measure up to Unlock and which I preferred and the reasons that I preferred it, uh, then do take a look at that. Uh, I know a lot of people have done similar videos as well, but you might be surprised by the results on mine. And finally, just gone up today, is the overview for The Cousin's War, which is a two-player area control game uh, coming from Surprise Stare Games. Um, and again, this was a live recording at the UK Games Expo. So, that's what we've had for the past week. So I'm just double-checking the mic was plugged in. I had to worry that it wasn't for a second. So let's talk about the figures. What has this meant for the channel? Well, the channel's been going 18 and a half months. On Facebook, we have 2,888 likes, which is very good. Um, it is, the level of growth is down on last week. I don't think that's particularly surprising. All the figures are down. Um, and when we look at the analytics, I'll talk more about my thoughts on why that might be. Twitter, we have 10,158 followers on Twitter. So yes, that does unfortunately mean we've actually declined. We've got less followers than last week. Um, I know I had been seeing that pre-competition. The giveaway had kind of got it back into growth and now it's gone back into decline. Um, it's a very big figure. I'm not gonna worry. Um, I still like seeing that it's above 10K and that's not gonna change for a while, hopefully. Then on YouTube, with subscribers, we have 4,519. So uh, we're well on our way now to 5,000 and hopefully, you know, those people are gonna start watching the videos <laughs> because uh, as we see, Views 250,839, which means we only had 4,000-ish views, uh, despite having over 4,000 subscribers and doing six videos. But obviously not all videos are going to appeal to all people, so it kind of makes sense, I suppose. But a lot of other channels actually see views higher than their subscribers, and it'd be nice to get to that level. But overall, yeah, that my goal... <coughs> Sorry. My goal was 4,000 a week uh, at the moment, and I've hit, hit that, so I'm very pleased with that. There's no giveaways or anything going on to boost it, so yeah, very happy. Um, Analytics-wise, what do I think has caused this? Well, the most popular, most viewed video this week has been the Alien Artifacts demo that uh, posted not the week just gone, the week before, but it was very close to the end of the week, so most of the views have happened actually this week. Um, so that's been surprisingly popular. That was again a prototype recorded at the UK Games Expo, 
Um, and yeah, it's, it's done well. I don't know why that's done better than other videos that I've posted up, such as Pulsar and stuff. Um, maybe it's a more, more anticipated game. So what do I think has been causing all this? Well, there's, there's not really a whole lot going on at the moment. There's been Dice Tower Con on for this week. And I think that was like four days. So that may have affected the views a bit. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think just time of year maybe. You know, compared this week to a year ago and I was just about 2,000. So that's still, that's twice as many views this week but then twice as many views because twice as many videos in total maybe um, but yeah I mean it's still it's a good level of views and a good comparison that it is twice as many views this week as this week last year was so uh, what else there oh last week I said my joy about the lack of dislikes uh, turns out they were just on holiday <laughs> the people who are disliking came back, single day, giant spike in the dislikes as they went through all the videos that they had not yet disliked and disliked them. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. Moving on. <laughs> Let's talk about New Arrivals. So I'm really excited by New Arrivals actually. So we've only actually got one. I'm saying actually far too much. Unearth, which is the new game from Brotherwise Games. Now, this is a publisher you might not recognise the name of, but you will recognise their game, Boss Monster. They've been the guys behind Boss Monster. They've been very much just focused on Boss Monster for several years now, but now they're moving on, they're doing other games, they're pushing their own identity as a publisher rather than just Boss Monster. And this is going to be their new game. I received it Friday and I could not wait to get this open and on the table. It, like instant, yeah. I'm um, unboxing, opening it up, uh, learning the rules, playing game. Uh, I've played several games this weekend. Um, how to describe this game? It's kind of, well, it's set collection, really. I mean, the theme of the game is that your tribes that are going and unearthing ruins and wonders from a previous age. How this works is it's dice allocation in order to collect sets. Um, the sets that you collect, there's kind of two different ways to collect sets. And if you roll high, you'll be working towards one type. If you roll low, you're working towards another. So it does work really well. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and you can expect videos, hopefully, well, hopefully not too long. I mean, I'm getting a lot of plays in. So that's going to mean that I'll be able to do them quicker than potentially other things. Um, so, talking about new arrivals and what's coming in the future, this week's videos. We should hopefully have the demo that was recorded at UK Games Expo for Lava Run, which is a new game that was being developed uh, by Mike Nudd um, in conjunction with Braincrack Games. And, yeah, um, so there'll be that. That's kind of quite a random memory game with a light theme. Um, you'll be able to check that out anyway. Then also I'm going to have a review of this little deck of cards here, which is Wibble++. Plus Plus. And also, as well as the review, um, there is a Kickstarter going on at the moment for a supporting website for the game. The game is already out, the game is already there, you can buy it, you can play it. It's got several series of games in there, and I've been really enjoying it. It's word-based, or letter-based I should say, and yeah. This is going to be a supporting website because there's lots of different games you can play. I think there's five or six come in the box, but then there's going to be a community website where people can post ones they've come up with, new ones that Bez comes up with, he can post. So there's going to be that, a lot of support going on. And yeah, you can back that to help fund that website as well as, pardon me, as well as be able to buy the game through the Kickstarter as well. Uh, what else are we hoping to get done? Uh, the demo of Wordsy recorded at the UK Games Expo. This was one of the games that I left the UK Games Expo wanting to buy. And so I think it's a very good game. It's a word game. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm, it's a shame I missed out on the opportunity. Apparently they did have some at the UK Games Expo to buy. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun, uh, it's light, it's easy, and it's not just the most intelligent person who's likely to win. Uh, there's a speed aspect to it as well. So yeah, I enjoy that, uh, and you'll be able to see more of it. Uh, Eve for Wars, which is a dice allocation kind of game. I uh, recorded an overview with the publisher at the UK Games Expo, and that will hopefully be up this week. So, uh, that is it for another Diaries. I do hope you've enjoyed the video, and you know what to do with the whole supporting the channel, etc. And, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.